Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn what are new options in SQL Server 2016 databases. When you install SQL Server 2016 and create a user database, what are the things that's been added in that particular database that you newly created using SQL Server 2016? And in this demo, we'll be learning what are things added in database view, tables view, security view, uh, tasks, standard reports of the database and option. So here is my SQL Server 2016. I'm connected with SQL Server Management Studio 2016. Let's go ahead and expand the databases. I have created a new database, Tech Brothers IT, and we're going to take a look on this particular database and see what are the things that's added. So let's expand Tech Brothers IT database. And uh, First thing, if you take a look up here is external sources. As you know that um, I have covered this in my previous videos, that SQL Server 2016 is capable of integrating the external resources, non-transactional uh, uh, databases such as Hadoop and uh, transactional databases such as SQL Server, so that you can go ahead and uh, create that integration and uh, use your same T-SQL uh, script and explore the external uh, databases as well, which is uh, non-transactional. So this is where you will be configuring your external resources. As soon as you will configure your external resources, if you expand the tables, right here are the external tables. All the tables that's, uh, that you will um, use in external resources will be added to the external tables. Let's go ahead and expand that. As you can see that external resources has data sources that what data sources are you uh, connecting to the file format uh, file formats what what are the file file format that you wanted to configure that external resources with so this is uh, external resources and table uh, the things that's been added in uh, database view so other thing right here is query store this is uh, in order to support the query store feature in SQL Server 2016 this has been added if you expand SQL Server um, if you expand the query store feature you will see that uh, it has uh, some reports right here this is uh, by default reports and um, it stores query information it, it, it can uh, give you a nice view it can help you troubleshoot uh, something that is a, a transactional based uh, issue or performance based issue so it is a nice feature query query store that's been added new to the um, uh, database view right here in order to support the new feature of SQL Server uh, 2016 which is query store uh, let's take a look in uh, uh, security if we expand security uh, if you compare it with SQL Server 2014 you will see that uh, always on uh, encrypted key option was not here if you expand that you will see there are two things added in always on encrypted keys uh, column master key definition that will be stored right here and column encryption keys will be stored right here so let's go ahead and take a look on the task side of our database right click on the database go to the task and if you notice right here there are two options that's been added in task one is enable database for stretch and disable database for stretch so if you wanted to enable your data if you wanted to use data stretch in SQL Server 2016 which is a new feature it'll allow you to stretch your historical data to MS Microsoft Azure uh, data storage so you will be enabling this and then you will be configuring that so these two uh, things that's been added in uh, our task right here in order to support our uh, data stretch feature of our SQL Server. So um, let me go ahead and open the option of this database and see what's added there. Click on properties and right here are the uh, page selection on the left pane right here. Uh, general files all these things look familiar from SQL Server 2014 but up here you will see the query store if you click on query store you have uh, this again this is to support query store feature a uh, new feature of uh, SQL Server 2016 you can enable it or disable it right here you can uh, basically go ahead and click on false and this will uh, disable your query store and it will not store any query information that you're running on SQL Server but if you have to do that you need to come over here in SQL Server in database options and click on query store and click on true and then it'll enable and get the default values here obviously you have some you have options to change these values but uh, this is where you will be coming and enabling your query store so let me go ahead and cancel this 
and let me go back to our main menu we have covered database view table view security view tasks uh, standard report is the one that we need to do next so if you click on uh, right click on the database go to the reports go to the standard reports up here everything almost look the same but um, right here transactional performance analysis overview report is added this will give you basically the performance analysis about the transaction running on this particular database so if you click on that you will see a nice view uh, that will give you the transactional right now um, right here it says um, that um, the report helps you identify bottleneck in your database it, it is really nice report to uh, uh, look at you can do the table analysis you can do the store procedure analysis using this report so uh, these are the things basically I wanted to mention that uh, these are added there are some other I may have missed some but I just wanted to give you a quick overview um, from SQL Server Management Studio that uh, what is added in database um, uh, tab tables security tasks uh, standard reports and option and I hope this video helps